Okay, now I'm going to show you how to solve linear inequalities. So here, um, you're, you're, you're trying to solve this here, where, where this whole thing here, you're trying to find out uh, values of x, where this whole thing here will be less than this whole thing here, less than or equal to, to this thing here. Um, th this is very similar to something like this. Um, so you've got a balance here. It's, it's quite similar to, um, to you doing something like this. Okay, 4x uh, minus 6 here. And the, the, you, you see, when this is equal, you, you've got one value of x where, where this side is, uh, is exactly the same as this side here. But now you've got an inequality where this, you, you see here, you, you can have lots of values for x where this whole thing here will be less than this thing here, less than or equal to this thing here. With, with an equal sign like this, um, you can only have one, one value where x is, uh, where you can put into x, and, the, and this whole thing here will be the same as this here. But with inequalities, you, you can have lots of different values for x here. So for example, if you, if you say, if you put 5 into here, if you look at your number line here, 0 here, let's take 5 here. If you put 5 into here, this thing here will be 20, okay, and then 20 take away 6, that will be 14. You see, 14 is not a solution because because um, this whole thing here, 14 is bigger than is bigger than 10, so that's not true. It 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 it, it, it doesn't satisfy this this whole thing here, okay. So so 5 is not uh, an answer. Well, you could try you could try let's say 2. Let's try 2. You put 2 into here. This whole thing here will be 8. 8 take away um, 8 take away 6. It, yes, 8 take away 6 is less than 10. So 2 is a good solution. But the thing is, if, if you try 3, 3 might work. Um, put this into here, 3. Put 3 into the x. That would be uh, 12. 4 times 3 will be 12. Take away 6 will be 6. So, so 3 is a good solution. Um, how, about, uh, how about 4? Uh, put 4 into here. This will be 16. Uh, 16 take away 6 is 10. So yeah, so so 10. Remember, this is less than or equal to. So we all have 10 is a good thing because it's um, it's less than or equal to 10. So so you see, uh, four, um, uh, uh, what was it? 4 is a is also a solution here. If you put 0 into here, um, well, 4 times 0, the whole thing here will be 0, and then that will be uh, 6 uh, mi minus 0 minus 6 will be minus 6. So that that so zero is also good. If you have let's say minus five here, put minus five into the x here, and then that would be um, uh, minus twenty. Four times minus five would be minus twenty, and then minus six that would be minus twenty six. You see, minus five is also a uh, a good solution. So when when you get given something like this here, you see you you can have lots and lots of answers. Well, anyway, to solve this here. Um, well, in the next video, I will show you how to solve this, okay?